So today, guys, we are covering a story about a man named Julian Bell, who was a gangster nicknamed the Godfather of Death. He was awarded £500,000 in compensation after fracturing his spine in a motorbike accident. He used some of the money to buy a home and a car, and the rest to create a gang in Manchester. Julian Bell fractured his spine in a motorbike accident when he was 12, and was confined to a wheelchair after being left paralysed from the waist down. Six years later, he was awarded £500,000 in compensation, and with part of that money, he funded his move into crime. His brother Orville had been gunned down at the wheel of his car, aged 17, by members of the Gooch gang, and growing up, never wanted to take revenge. With the money he was awarded, the criminal bought a smart bungalow in Preston, and a specially adapted BMW, but also set up the long sight crew in Orville's memory. With his wealth, he bought the loyalty and respect of those around him with gems, Rolex watches and bulletproof jackets. He also built up an arsenal of weapons, including a Mac-10 and Uzi submachine guns, punishing any rivals who stepped out of line. Bell, who was jailed for ten and a half years in February 2018 after a special operation, busted a heroin and cocaine network in Gloucestershire, became one of the most feared gangsters in the area. His gang was described as the youngest and most violent, with a source claiming they would take out anyone who gets in their way. The Long Sight crew were at war with Pitbull crew, Doddington gang and Gooch Close gang as they fought a bloody battle for control of Manchester's multi-million pound drug trade. Between 1999 and 2004, at least 26 killings were linked to the four gangs. Langport Avenue, the street where Bell grew up, was the scene of a number of shootings. In September 2000, Devon Orlando Bell, 22, was shot by masked gunmen. Three years earlier, 19-year-old Zeus King, son of the late sweet sensation frontman Marcel King, had been shot dead there. In February 2000, Bell was jailed for two and a half years, after threatening to kill a witness, who was due to testify in a gangland assault trial. On his release, he employed a chief minder, who was later jailed for shooting dead a man outside a Greater Manchester nightclub in 2002. The investigation that followed was key to bringing down Bell's estimated £1 million drugs empire. The killer's movements led police to Bell's Preston bungalow, where they seized guns, ammunition, a drug cutting agent and a list of drug customers. A raid on another property in Salford found a drugs press capable of producing kilo sized blocks of heroin or cocaine for wholesale distribution. In March 2004, Bell was jailed for 20 years at Manchester Crown Court for conspiracy to supply heroin and conspiracy to possess firearms. Bell served his time and on his release moved to Dover Road in Southport where he began plotting his return to the drugs trade, choosing the southwest towns of Cheltenham and Gloucester. Using contact with local crime boss Kieran Robinson, Bell set up a cross-country supply line, becoming a wholesale supplier of heroin and crack, which was ferried from Liverpool and Bradford to dealers in Gloucestershire. In 2018, a total of 14 people were jailed for various drug trafficking and money laundering offences. When police searched Bell's Southport home, they seized items of jewellery worth more £40,000. Robinson was jailed for ten and a half, years for his role in the conspiracy. Bell, then aged 40, was was given the same sentence after pleading guilty to supplying crack cocaine and heroin.